junkin pool here over here in Porterville. Hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm still full. So we did a little pickup today. And I don't know, we got a call in there now. I don't know what it is, but... so We picked up that Impala. It's a 2007. Drove it out to the truck. I got to look at the Transax in it. It's slipping. Pretty good shape. Got the sunroof. Interior's nice. 184,000 on it. Needs cleaned up, but it's in good shape. I believe that's the V6 in there. I haven't even really looked yet. Looked at it. But didn't uh, get too carried away to see what size motor it was. Nice tires. It's a little dusty. I don't see no dings in it. Not yet. You just put new, I think it was struts and stuff on it. And the tranny started flipping. They bought a new one. So, thought we'd do a quick video for you. I unloaded, don't know if I'll unload it today. Gotta see what this call is. Probably one of the nicest cars I picked up. I picked up a few nice looking cars, but this is pretty nice. Got a trailer hitch, which is probably why there's transmission issues, but it may not be nothing that serious. Pretty solid looking under here. Of course, I see that converter, but I think this one wouldn't be a scrapper. It's a good. I think that's a converter, maybe not. I think it is, though. Yeah, that'd be the converter. Good, clean-looking car. Belonged to a little elderly lady that only drove at the church on Sundays, and she didn't go that much. Not really, I just had to throw that in. The sun is right in my eyes. So I just thought we'd do a quick video and I'm going to unload it and then I'm going to get over here and looks like it's missing a little rivet or something on this fender. Like these little plastic things there. They look like there's one or two missing on here. Should be able to pick them up someplace I think. I could take them off of this side. Oh that won't work. Yeah, I could probably find some of them around or buy them new for a little bit of nothing, hopefully. The better shape in the truck I'm driving, that's for sure. So I don't really drive cars. I probably fix it up and sell it or try to trade it off for a pickup or something. And this one is actually a fairly nice car. I still haven't got it in the garage. That was my plan today, and I thought I better get that car there before we got a snowstorm. So I'm going to fix this one first. And then I'm going to check that other one out. Looks like the oil pan might be leaking. I might check out the filter. Maybe the fuel uh, tranny or the transax filter is just plugged. Probably not. The fluid didn't see no shavings or metal in the fluid. It smells not burnt like a lot of them do, but you get that just from normal wear and tear. I think even on a new one, you get that smell. So I got a couple projects more on a daily basis, and it's hard to keep up with them. What can you do? Got a couple people maybe interested in a couple vehicles, so try to get them going, get them sold, and go get some more. So 
Well, this is a junkin' pool over here in Poorville. Still got that car. That one I know it's going to be a while before I get to that one. Because I don't really plan on getting rid of that one. Anyway, this is a junkin' pool in Poorville. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving and got full. And, uh, can go out now and go find some junk or, or whatever you do. Build a building, put on a roof. Whatever you do for a living or for fun or both. Have a great day. And thumbs up, subscribe, and if you're a scrapper, go find some junk. If not, do what you want. Have a good day.